welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made a two-piece set out of four bandanas. The bandanas I bought were from Walmart. I got two black ones and two white ones. They were about $2 each. All of the materials that I used in this video were either from Amazon or Joann's, but I will be linking everything that I use in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video if you enjoy it, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Okay, so I start off the project by outlining the shape of one of my favorite skirts. This one is from Princess Polly and I just outlined the general shape of it and I added a half inch uh, seam allowance onto this pattern paper that I got at Walmart. It's actually packing paper and it was only about $5 per roll and it's highly recommended since I know that pattern paper is pretty expensive. That's a good alternative. And then I went ahead and I divided the skirt into four as evenly as possible and then I cut out the pattern paper. After that I went ahead and cut out each square and then I labeled them upper left, lower left, upper right, lower right. This step is very important because it does get a little confusing when you're cutting out the bandanas especially when you want the colors to be inverted like I did. And here I started off by pinning the lower left pattern piece on one of the corners of the bandana. When I cut it out, I cut out about half inch seam allowance on the inner sides, um, but then I messed up and I didn't cut it on top and so I ended up cutting it off later on and it did kind of mess me up because the skirt almost didn't fit, but luckily it did. So it's up to you if you wanna add another half inch seam allowance in the inner sides of the squares. I did cut out each square one by one, but obviously you can double the bandanas and do it that way as well. But I just, since I wanted it to be inverted and there was several different pieces of the pattern, I just felt like I wanted to avoid any confusion. And yeah, I just cut them out one by one. Here I pinned down the pieces with the one that was directly um, next to it. And then I pinned those two pieces together. And here I just run it through the machine to attach all the pieces together. Since the bandanas I purchased were only about $2 each, they weren't the best quality and they were a little bit see-through and so that's why I had to add some lining. To create the lining, I just reattached the pattern and I pinned it onto some lining and cut it out and then I pinned the piece of lining onto my skirt. And when I finished sewing them down, I was left with the front and back panels of the skirt and I pinned down the sides. Since the bandana material isn't stretchy at all, I obviously had to attach a zipper to be able to get in and out of it. I got this invisible zipper for only about $2 at Hobby Lobby and I pinned down each side and then I sewed down the rest. This was about my fourth time um, sewing down a zipper and I feel like I finally got it right and it looked amazing and I'm literally so proud of myself because I just started sewing recently. But yeah, um, after that I made a hem for the waistline and also for the bottom making sure to pin down the bandana and the lining together.
For the top, I used one of my paddings from a bikini top and I basically just traced that onto some pattern paper and I measured out about um, two and a half centimeters from the perimeter and cut that out. And then I cut out two pieces of that pattern with the leftover bandana scraps that I had. And then I did the same with the lining. Moving on to the base of the top, I just evened out the remaining piece of white bandana that I had and then I cut out two pieces measuring about three inches wide and I cut them on a fold. And then I pinned down the top sides of both of those pieces. To make the straps for the top, I cut out about four pieces of the black bandana measuring about one inch wide by eight inches long. And here I took two of the pieces and pinned down the edges to make them longer. When I sewed down the lining to the bra top, I made sure to leave the top open to insert the straps later on. And then here I added a few pleats to each of the bra cups. Unfortunately, this next part didn't get on camera, but I basically stopped sewing about three quarters of the way on the base of the top and then I turned that right side out and I attached the two triangle tops to each side. Then I also made sure to leave some extra fabric enough to attach the ring to the center. <laughs> <laughs> 